Hey everybody, this is Perch. Uh, with this mail, I may be going out a little bit over my skis a bit. Um, I, I want to surface this by saying I'm not entirely sure that this is correct. But my feeling is with a lot of these platforms, and again, things like shadow banning and, and being blocked and other things, it's tricky to know if it's the individual who's blocked you or shadow bound you. I mean, sometimes you just know, and sometimes it's clear. Sometimes they brag about it. Other times, the uh, the, the platform and the and the just general algorithm seem to just screw with you. Um, you know, YouTube decided, hey, I'm going to unsubscribe a bunch of uh, a bunch of the subs here for for them, and they do that on a regular basis. And then sometimes they all appear back up the next day. It's, it's weird. But, the, but anyway, the platforms don't seem like they're really bolted on. And I think a number of people have speculated there's some conspiracy stuff at work here. I, I think there probably is in some cases. I definitely think we've heard about biases in, you know, various uh, forms of media and other things. And I'm sure they do exist. But I'm also sure what exists is just general tech stupidity and, uh, and, and poor platforms and everything else. So, so it's like, I you know... Where is it coming from? It's sometimes hard to determine. And oftentimes before people fly off the handle, it's good to at least poke in on that. Uh, for this channel, for what it's worth, um, every time somebody comes in with the uh, like the all Spanish porn ab ad ab ad anyway, or or the clear, you know, junk in the comments, I usually grab it and I hide that user from the channel. That's what you're supposed to do. And then uh, you know, report as junk. Now, I've been doing that for some time, and it, I, it doesn't seem to matter whatsoever. <laughs> they still come through. Meanwhile, YouTube blocks tons of comments that are completely benign, and, uh, and I, don't get, I don't get it at all. So somebody can, can literally talk about you know, underage porn as a spam ad inside the video, inside the comments, inside the video, inside the comments. They can talk about this stuff, goes right through. Somebody talks about uh, Deadpool, and because it has the word dead, it, like if they said, Deadpool shoots guns, blocked. YouTube will block it, because you're, you're using dead and guns in a comment. It, it, anyway, it makes no sense, and I would think that they would be smart enough. But anyway, here's a mail asking some questions, so let's get into it. I'm not sure if I'm going to have a good answer, but we'll try. It says, hey, Perch, I've been a subscriber to your channel for a couple of years now. I enjoy this ever-evolving documentary about how a rational person loses his mind while dealing with the not-so-rational con... Wait a minute. Anyway, I found your channel because of your appearances on Thinking Critical, another channel um, which had good arguments about the industry. I don't know if it's still a good channel because I unsubscribed from it a while ago. And to the point, I didn't unsubscribe Wes's channel because he changed his opinion or way of presenting it. No, it was not the content. Hmm, okay. It was because I noticed I was shadow banned, and since my comments on his videos were sparse, usually agreeing with his points and careful to follow basic community rules while engaging with other commenters, it really disappointed me either Wes or Google filters banned me for no discernible reason. Cartoonist Kayfabe have also shadow banned me in the same fashion. In a while, I learn about a vintage comic I might want to read or learn about, until recently, in their Starman video, I noticed they erased a specific comment from another guy who, as respectfully as he could, expressed that the kayfaber's opinions on writers sometimes come off as arbitrary. The comment got quickly deleted. So yeah, I finally unsubscribed CK because their reviews had been expanding, uh, expanding about 2K a year in vintage comics, trade paperbacks, and some of their own books. Guess I'll be saving more money now. Okay, um, I get why any channel that deals with comic book industry attracts heavy contempt may apply certain filters, but arbitrarily shadow banning, uh, it's a little bit more than burnout in specific case of the Fabers, is losing a subscriber and a reader of their own produced comics. Since I'm still not shadow banned on your channel, and you seem to be rational about uh, losing readers, don't know, maybe if you feel like it, pass the words those other rational in good taste free of trolls channels, that they are losing some of their target audience because of us using discerning filters. Um, thanks for reading. Cheers. Yeah. So, so here, so I don't know what, I mean, you know, I'd love to give a good answer. Like, well, here's what happened. Uh, but I don't have one. And, and there's a video I did a while back. I did one on my own and I did one with Joe and they're, they're still back there. I think YouTube comments, if you search urge YouTube comments, I think you'll find both these videos. I suggest you go check those out. Because what I did was I, lit I went into the admin uh, panel and I just screen recorded and I'm like, here's the stuff that YouTube blocked 
or, you know, removed. And another thing I noticed, by the way, which I, I do not understand from a tech perspective, why it works this way. So you could write something and it shows up in the comments and I'll see it on my phone. A little notification will come in, a little thing will drop down and there will be your comment. And it will say something, I don't know, salty, but not bad. I mean, I, w- I would never, I would never boot anybody for it and I would never delete the comment for it, but I see it. And then, uh, you know, so I see the little notification for it. It gets posted. Uh, sometime later, the comment vanishes. And if I go into the blocked comments, I can see it there. What happened? Why was it posted public and then blocked? Who blocked it? Why? Why? There's no, there's, uh, there's no other admin on the Perch channel but me. There's nobody else who can do this. So, what, you know, if, if YouTube's going to block stuff, you know, in theory, it would happen when you click and post. But clearly they're running some kind of after, after you know, effect sweep. But why? And, and again, what, very weird. The, it's very, very arbitrary, and I don't get it. Um, look, I, I think, uh, you know, again, I've, I've definitely hit block and junk for the stuff that is clearly spam. I, I feel completely futile doing it because it doesn't seem to matter. And then on some occasions, I booted people from the channel. Uh, it's, it's happened, but it's, it's pretty rare. And unless a person is extremely uh, thick, they know exactly why they got booted. Like this, these are the people who come in and like post 20 comments in a row, just reaming people or completely misrepresenting. I mean, not a little bit misrepresented, but completely misrepresenting what's going on in the, in the video. You know, or recusing another poster of, of some of the worst you know, crimes in the world. I mean, seriously, you, you know how you got there. If, you, if you're like, I had no idea. No, there, there's like, I try and leave it beyond any shadow of a doubt. And again, it's super rare that it occurs. Uh, but I do worry about the, the platform itself just randomly deciding for me. I definitely do. Now, I don't know about these other channels. Um, I, the cartoonist kayfabe guys I know are, are pretty uh, quick on, uh, on dumping stuff, uh, is what I've been told, what I've seen. Uh, seem like nice guys, uh, for sure, and, and I think they do. They have a great channel and do some great stuff over there, but they have been more aggressive with the block button. I couldn't tell you about Wes. I don't, I don't think so. I mean, I would guess, again, by his content, He's not going to get in there and and uh, and boot a bunch of people, but I maybe uh, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know, but I I did I have appeared on his show. It's been a long time, uh, but I you know I could tell you he doesn't <laughs> before he go on the air. He's not like God damn it! I've got to delete a bunch of viewers off this channel. Like there's no there's no ranting about uh, people that goes on. Um, I'm not spilling any secrets there, but uh, so I I don't know. Um, I I think that. Look, as I've said in, in previous videos, um, I, I, I totally get why creators are saying I'm going to post here and I'm not going to take it. And if you, if you come in and you, you disagree and I'm not in the mood for it, blocked. I get it. Um, I've done a lot more with mute. I, I don't post much on Twitter anymore, but uh, mute. You know, I posted a comment. Uh, it got retweeted uh, and a bunch of yokels came in and started like, let me tell you what you think. And I'm just like, mute, mute, mute. And for as far as I know, they're still screaming away and more power to them. Uh, I, I, <laughs> I don't do that to, uh, to really jerk people around. I just think that's the easiest way to like, they get to be happy yelling and I get to be happy not seeing it. And everybody wins. Uh, but, but overall, uh, you know, I think it's better if you leave the comments up, even if they're disagreeable, even if they're against you. Um, if it's truly going to cause havoc and harm, I get it. But, but in general, it's better to just leave things up. I think you create more havoc when you don't. And, uh, I, you know, I don't believe that, you know, the argument has been, you know, creators need to, you know, never, never do a bad thing, never say a bad word toward a, a customer. I, look, I, I don't think I, I, that's not a blank check. I think that customers can certainly do things that, that push it over the edge. And people do on a regular basis and, and then go, I, I can't believe you'd block a customer. Look, if you're screaming obscenities at somebody, if you're taking their position and warping it uh, and you know exactly what you're doing, well, you're not a customer. 
and and come on. But you know, but but the, those are wait until it gets to be an extreme case. I guess is is my point. As much as you possibly can. I, it's annoying to have somebody disagree with your opinion. But if you're blocking people because they say I disagree with you or I don't like you, then that's that's absurd. And, I, you know, too many people go down that route. Customers, fans, hell, whether they're a customer or not, people should have, people do have the right to say, I don't agree with your opinion. And maybe they do it a little salty. And, you know, bluntly develop some thicker skin. I, I'm sorry. If somebody's going to come in and say, you're a jerk for doing this. I mean, is, if that's the worst thing you have to deal with today, you're, you're living a pretty charmed life. So, you know, deal with it. That's, that's my view. Of course, it's, it's everybody, it's your social media account. You can do whatever the hell you want with it. But I think the, as soon as you start giving in to getting extremely thin skinned about this stuff, uh, you're on the wrong, you're on the wrong track. Uh, but, but plenty of people, plenty of people block, um, it's, it's, and, and they block criticism. The, the worst kind of blocking is if somebody comes in and they've got a real argument for you, not, not coming in and saying, you know, you know, you're a liar, just could just really do it, but it actually comes in with a compelling counter argument and you realize it's a compelling counter argument. You realize that the, Hey, this person's got an opinion here that might be, uh, on better ground than yours. I better block them. That that's the kind of stuff that I think is bullshit. And, and you see a lot of that too. So I'm sorry you, you've been shadow banned on these platforms. Hope it doesn't happen here. Um, I can pretty much guarantee it won't happen from me. Uh, but you know, again, I, I don't know what you do with, uh, with the platform itself. And I don't know, there's not a good alternative. Uh, people have pointed out, it's like, Oh, you should just move your channel over to Gab or one of these other things. It's like, I, well, no, <laughs> I, I know that. I know that's frustrating to people, but no, I, I, I if there's a, a good platform out there that has good reach and good tools and isn't a pain in the ass, but, you know, here's the funny thing, and I'm, I'm just being honest right now. If another channel opened up, another area opened up like YouTube that was easier to upload stuff and twice the audience and everything else, and all I had to do was move all my content over there, eh, there's, a, like a, there's a 50-50 chance I'm going to just be like, ah, I'm done. <laughs> I'm going to use this as my uh, jumping off point, as they say in comics. Anyway, thank you very much for the mail. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Like and subscribe, and hopefully you'll stay subscribed. Thanks for listening.